seven months of fighting, the civil war in Chattaloo may have reached the turning point. The capital has just fallen. A power-mad dictator is holding a city for ransom. And the forces of freedom have one last hope. This is the collection agency, Bison. You're at six months overdue. The game is now a war. Showtime. There are no next levels. No! There is no high score. Because this battle is being played for keeps. And its winners <laughs> take all. Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm the Ripple Man. And you're out of business. And Raul Julia. I think uh, the food board should be larger. Star in Street Fighter, Friday at 9 on TMN. Game over! Intruder destroyed. At TMN, we have a simple philosophy. Show the biggest stars in the biggest movies, uncut and commercial free. This is Cher. And no matter what your mood, we're guaranteed to have the movie for you. Let me rephrase that. TMN Primetime 5. Five moods, five movies, five channels. It's your choice. With five movies on five channels, all at the same time, every Friday and Saturday at 9, TMN Primetime 5 is five times the fun. But don't take our word for it. Here's Friday's 9 o'clock lineup. Check, please. For blockbuster action, Van Damme does damage in Street Fighter. I'm the Reaper Man. And you're out of business. Need some suspense? Go for the gusto and goop in Body Snatchers. <laughs> Try hit comedy. Hugh Grant gets saucy in Four Weddings and a Funeral. If it's drama, Gina Davis suffers a midlife crisis in Angie. Maybe you want a classic. See Pacino get hooked in Panic in Needle Park. With five movies on five channels. Prime Time 5 makes your weekend five times the fun. Then check out this Saturday's Prime Time 5 9 o'clock lineup. Want some action? Brandon Lee is back from the dead in The Crow. The Avenger. The killer of killers. Looking for drama? You'll get a big scoop in Ron Howard's The Paper. You got five hours until 8 o'clock. Go get the story. How about suspense? There's a ton of chills in The Spy Within. Want big laughs? Gerard takes off his shirt in My Father the Hero. Maybe a classic. Shirley MacLaine stars in The Turning Point. TMN Primetime 5. Five moods, five channels every Friday and Saturday at 9. It's five times the fun. Detective Popeye Doyle has a bad habit of being in the wrong place. At the wrong time. But that's just the way he likes it. All right, hit him! Hit him! And this time he's chasing the biggest drug shipment of his career. There's no way, nowhere, and no how anything is going to stop him. Oscar winner Gene Hackman. I'm going to check on this address in the Bronx, and if they don't know you, they're at your ass. And Roy Scheider. You put this little candy store hustle together with Joel Weinstock, and maybe we got a big score. Star in 1971's five-time Oscar winner, The French Connection. New Year's Eve at 9 on Movie Picks. Movies are 100 years old, and we're celebrating their birthday. TMN, the Movie Network, and Movie Picks. We love movies. And birthdays. <laughs> Sully has a picture-perfect life. Plenty of friends. A boss who respects him. You know, Sully, you're the only guy I know still dumb enough to believe in luck. A landlord who believes in it. Donald, does it ever bother you that you haven't done more with the life God gave you? And away with words. That's it? That's the sum of your wisdom on a subject? That's the sum of my wisdom on most subjects. Paul Newman. Nobody's fool. Coming in January to TMN. Mr. Neal, I'm uh, James Stan. Yes? Counsel for Henry Young. Look, I don't know who you pissed off to get this case, and I don't care. No breaks. Ah, Mr. Hankin, I want to thank you very much for your confidence in me. And I don't this. have any confidence in you. The guy is guilty. A monkey could try the case and not make it any worse than it is. We're not going to die for nothing. What do you want to do? 
kid even had his own McDonald's. No joke. But with all this, was he truly happy? You bet. Richie Rich, premiering Monday at 9 on TMN. Remember this, Theorem, Beatrice, Patrice, and Tram Habis. Kind of like first proportional. Exactly so. on TMN. Lassie's back and he's a 90s kind of dog. But can he survive his dysfunctional family? Helen Slater stars in Lassie next. The following is rated G. The following contains scenes with coarse language. Rated A. The following is rated PG. The following is rated G. There's one or two things you'll need for a successful wedding. Tact. So, John, how's that, how's that gorgeous girlfriend of yours? Oh, she's no longer my girlfriend. Ah, dear. Still, I wouldn't get too gloomy about it. Rumor has it she never stopped bonking old Toby Delisle, just in case you didn't work out. She is now my wife. A discreet best man. When Bernard told me he was getting engaged to Lydia, I, I congratulated him because all his other girlfriends have been such a complete dog. <laughs> and a competent priest. I do solemnly declare but I, Bernard Delaney, do take thee, Lydia Jane Hibbert, to be my awful wedded wife. A film with a message. Don't get married. Four weddings and a funeral. A hilarious new comedy from the Academy Award-nominated director of Enchanted April. Starring Hugh Grant. How'd you do? My name is Charles. Ridiculous. And Andy McDowell. Hi. We have the most adorable girl at our table. Or oh, Carrie. She's incredibly sexy. He's, he's great fun and he's gorgeous. It's all about love. It's funny. Well, I can't even remember the plot. And it's pretty good, I think. Something for everyone. Tears, laughter. 70 take four. Hey, background action. Four Weddings and a Funeral is about four weddings and a funeral. It's about a love affair between two people who only ever meet uh, on these five occasions. And then also a cluster of people who, as happens at weddings, all meet again and again and again at these weddings, and particularly a group of six friends. True love! True love! True love. True love. <laughs> Here we go! Four Weddings and a Funeral is about a man who knows that he should be married, but can't bring himself to be married. You're in real trouble, Charles. Am I? The thing is, you see, you're sort of turning into a kind of serial monogamist. That's all very embarrassing. Hugh Grant was absolutely first choice. He's very funny, and he's very funny with the words. Uh, I really feel, um, 
uh, in short, uh, to recap in a slightly clearer version, uh, in the words of David Cassidy, in fact, um, while he was still with the Partridge family, uh, I think I love you. Ta, very good, thank you. You got it? Excellent, well done. It's a long time since I've worked with a director who works so hard to get it right, you know, and will go on and on and on until it, it is right. I mean, he's amazingly energetic and uh, it's very encouraging. I loved the script, I loved the director, and have a large variety of co-stars to be excited about. I mean, I love them all, and they're really good. The castle beckons, I think, Tom. Are you sober? Absolutely. Orange juice all night. It's very uncomplicated. And, and you know that these people absolutely desperately adore each other. <sighs> it's a sort of panic about um, not being married, of being left behind. Most of the blokes I fancy think I'm stupid and pointless. And so they just bump me and then leave me.